the opinion of EFSA on uh, neo neonicotinoids and their impact on, uh, on bee colonies has led to a decision from the European Commission uh, for establishing uh, limitation, prohibitions and, and restriction of use of neonicotinoids in agriculture. But other regulatory bodies around the world see this matter differently. Uh, you can explain this difference between the EFSA view and the other regulatory bodies view. Well, EFSA has um, investigated uh, a relationship between neonicotinoids and um, the health of bee colonies and the outcome was that there is a risk coming from neonicotinoids to the survival of bee colonies. Uh, and this is substantiated by scientific evidence and this we have reported to the risk managers. And the risk managers have taken decisions on, on, on our scientific opinion, which by the way will now be updated and uh, an updated version will come out at the end of 2017. And I think there we have to differentiate between a scientific assessment and a risk management decision. And in the risk management decision, you can have different levels of protection goals. And Europe goes a certain way there. And it could be that other jurisdictions, like the United States, have a different protection goal. But that's not founded in science. It's a different risk management decision. EFSA is now, for example, evaluating about 730 studies, new studies, which we collected over the last years, to find new evidence on the, the, the interaction between neonicotinoids and bees, and bees. So we will have an updated um, scientific opinion this year. But there is a difference in, in um, how much you want to protect the environment or the bees in uh, different countries. And Europe has um, a protective approach.